My name is Ben Zinn for nextlevelguitar.com. Thank you for joining us. Have an inspired by lesson today. We're going to take a popular vibe that's happening right now and just dissect it a little bit. See where we can learn some new techniques with our finger style guitar. Hey everyone, if you would like some free video lessons and a great ebook, I want you to click on the link below that you see in the YouTube text box. What are you going to get if you do that? You get those free video lessons and you're going to get this killer ebook that's loaded with all kinds of great information. Information on our chords, our strumming, all good stuff that we can use in our guitar playing. So click on that link and we'll continue on. So today we're going to take a look at a few different finger style approaches towards some open chords. Uh, so let's take a look at those chords first of all. You'll notice I'm capoed here at the 5th fret. So I'm going to refer to all of my chords as if I was playing in the open position. I'm going to be playing in what I would call the key of C here. I'm starting with a C shape. And we're just going to take you through all the major and minor chords that work in this key. So you can put these together on your own. D minor. E minor. F. G. A minor. And when you get to B, the seventh here, just think about G7. It's a good substitute for the seventh. So C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, G7. Back to C. Let's grab a D minor chord and let's take you through some finger style approaches. So I have my D minor chord here and I'm just going to start out by arpeggiating or playing the notes one at a time of this chord. Thumb, index, middle, ring. That's a great move for all you beginners out there to try to get down with your finger style. Nice and even. Now you can try going back and forth. You can start to add some movement in with your left hand now. When I get to string one, I'm going to pull off my first finger from the first fret to open. And then I'll travel backwards. Except for now, I'll come up to the second string. So you can see I'm just building these techniques and ideas one step at a time. Now let's grab a C chord. I'll do the same thing by starting out arpeggiating the chord just from low to high. Getting comfortable with that. And you see what I did with my finger style here is I moved that whole grouping of fingers just up a string set. Thumb, index, middle, ring. Sets me up to play those in a nice order. Now let's add a little bit of color to this chord. Go ahead and add your pinky to the third fret of the second string. So we get the C add nine chord. Nice little flavor there. Now, two pull offs in a row can be kind of a tricky move, but it gives some nice melody to our playing. So I'm pulling from the third fret to the first fret and then first to open. And then back down. So that combination of pull offs and finger picking really creates a nice sounding pattern. Let's grab a G chord. Notice how I'm grabbing my G chord here. I'm playing it with my 
ring, middle, and pinky, and my pinky is grabbing the third fret note of the second string because that's what I'm gonna hit with my fingers. I'm leaving the first string out of this. Okay, so here we're going to play string six, four, three, two, same thing, low to high. Now I'm gonna grab string six, and then I'm gonna play with my first finger on the first fret of string two, I'm gonna grab strings two and three together. So I'm playing finger style, but I'm adding melody at the same time. That's gonna lead me really nicely into my F major nine chord here. This is kind of funky. We're just t changing our F chord and we're just basically adding in some open strings. Nice rich sound there. 